What is happening y'all? Welcome into the channel today. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a cruise around Vrado, which is a community over here in Buckeye, Arizona. And this has been one of my favorite kind of communities here for a while. And you'll probably see why um, with the way the homes look. This is a somewhat newer like master plan community. I think they started building like early 2000s. Uh, but what I like about the homes here is that they even though it's new builds they have so many different models that they all look different so they do kind of have for what it is they do have some character and um it just it's just like a different looking kind of community here so we're going to cruise around and we're going to be starting off our little cruise here off of verado way and Main Street, which is, I think, kind of like a little like downtownish area that they have here. But we're gonna just kind of cruise around. So I'm gonna flip the camera, show you guys what we're seeing. And another reason why I really like Rado is there are beautiful mountain views over here. As you guys can see kind of behind us, there are some nice hiking spots around here too. That's pretty cool. Let me flip this around because there are some more beautiful homes. All right, you guys, if any of you guys know, out there know what these trees are called, put that in the comments. So I really like these trees. I see them all over the place. Not out here in Arizona, but I'm used to seeing them, I think, in Colorado. But yeah, check these trees out if you know. Drop it in the comments just so I know. 
future reference. Now I googled Verado just to kind of get some information about the area here and it says that there are close to about 90 parks built within the community. There's tons of um, biking and hiking trails. Um, on the website it also says it kind of has like a small town feel which I can kind of get that vibe for sure that it does kind of give like a little bit of a small town feel. It is tucked pretty far away from everything because um, we are I mean we're probably about 45 minutes from the airport um, so you are a little a little ways out here um, that was that's the one oh she that's the one thing about Verado it's, it's just very far It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty far out. It's really far west. I think we would live over here, maybe, but that's the only thing is it's really far, but it, it's so beautiful over here. It's like, yeah, it, I, would, I would move over here just because how beautiful it is. All right, you guys, so we're gonna take a quick little break. Rest the legs for a second. Um, but I wanted to talk about the home prices over here because it is a little bit pricey. I just looked on uh, Redfin a little bit ago and the most affordable home over here I seen was probably about four, like 420. And, but the average home price, it seemed like it's usually like the mid 500s and it just really goes up from there. Um, which is uh, fairly pricey considering um, how far out from the Phoenix Metro we are. But I can totally understand why it's as expensive as it is because it's just such a beautiful, um, clean, you know, just area. And there's not very many places over here in, in um, the valley that, that look like this. Um, there's, there's a, I think I a place in Gilbert or Chandler. Um, I believe it's called Argetopia or something like that, but they have a really nice community there as well. But for having a like a newer master master plan community and having like all the homes look fairly different for the most part, it's like you don't really see that too much. And it's got a nice mix of you know trees, a little bit of grass, uh, mountains. Get a nice like mixture of like a hybrid desert. But yeah, I'm gonna probably start heading. I don't want to say back because we're still kind of cruising around. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so we'll catch you guys in a second. I'll jump back into it here.
just check the maps because they ran into a cul-de-sac and they realized there is only one way or there's two ways out of here so we're gonna turn around and head back to the main road yeah we're gonna do that Got a nice little golf course back there. Oh, this is a nice one.
So right behind us here, there's a, I believe a rec center. Um, you can see there's a, like a couple of community pools. Uh, looks like some nice basketball courts. I see people playing right now. Uh, I'm not sure if you camera cut out on me. Uh, yeah, so if you're a resident, you may get a discount or you might get all that included. I'm not sure, but there's a HOA for all of these homes here. I believe it's like around $100, like right in that range. Um, but another thing I'm noticing here is all the trees that are surrounding us right now, they're, um, they lose their leaves. So and when the fall comes, you know, you get the nice fall colors. And then when summer comes around, it's nice and green. Uh, but right now they have no leaves, maybe just, maybe a little bit of green, but I've been over here in the summertime and it's just plush green trees. It's so beautiful, nice and shaded in the best time of year when you need the shade. All right, you guys. The legs are a little tired, but we did go pretty far though. I think this, I don't know if this is the furthest one. I have another video I'm gonna, we recorded last week. Um, it's an extended Litchfield Park video. We went pretty far on that one too. Um, but yeah, we are traveling a little bit more distance now. I think the legs are getting a little stronger. The tire's definitely helping. And, um, yeah, really enjoying it. It's just me solo tonight. Oh, uh, so. That's cool. But, yeah, we're going to probably call this one. I'm probably going to start cruising back to the car. Uh, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Verado here. Uh, I might do some more some more tours over in this area here because it is very nice um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think about Verado and hit that thumbs up for us if you like the video and we will see you guys on the next one peace